It has been a bitter cold day for people experiencing homelessness. Limited shelter beds are now filling up all around Salt Lake City and dining halls and overflow shelters are stepping up. Fox 13's Emily Tenser shows us how volunteers are helping to protect people from the elements. Volunteers here say that before doors even opened up this morning, there was a long line of people eager to hang outside where it's warm. Now here at the St. Vincent de Paul Dining Hall, hot meals are offered twice a day. And on snowy days like this, the demand to eat and sleep here overnight is huge. On frigid, snowy days like this, never forget the value of a hot meal in warm shelter. You lose faith on nights like this. It gets so cold, you almost don't want to trudge on and, and live another day. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., those facing homelessness dry off inside the weekend homeless resource center, avoiding the snowfall outside. The biggest thing for individuals facing homelessness is where are they going to go uh, and how are they going to stay dry. For lunch and dinner, Catholic Community Services offers hot meals. Come 7 p.m., the dining hall turns into an overflow shelter where 60 people can stay overnight. It's not enough shelter, not enough places for individuals to go. Out on the sidewalks, members of the organization Nomad Alliance pass out hot chocolate, coffee and cookies, anything to help people stay warm. We're trying to do all we can to save some lives tonight and provide some humanity on these streets. Founder Ksenia Kanazova says Salt Lake City needs more shelters. My heart breaks for this population. Nobody should live like that. Before people head back out into the snow, volunteers make sure to hand out more meals to go, hoping the extra calories can help those facing the elements. Bad weather is an awful thing for anybody to go through, but when you don't have a place to go, uh, it turns into a worse condition uh, of freezing and possibly death. And so having that space and the, and the food and, and the shelter is important for anybody. The center is in desperate need of winter clothing donations, everything from coats, gloves, hats, and especially sweats and good winter footwear. You can drop it off here Monday through Friday. Reporting at the St. Vincent de Paul Dining Hall, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.